Hello, everybody. Welcome to our cruise Q&A live stream. If you have any cruise questions, I'm going to do my best to answer as many as I can during this stream. If you're watching this on the replay, hello. Thank you for coming back to watch this. And if you're watching this live, I see so many of you already in the chat. Thank you for joining me, joining me on a Friday, cold, rainy Friday. I have my blanket here and I'm ready to chat. Hope you are too. If you do have a question, can you please start the question with question in capital letters? Just makes it so much easier for me to pick out what is a question and it just kind of increases the chance that I'll be able to answer it. And also, if you can keep it short, I try and sort of keep these live streams going. Um, I don't want you to have to wait while I read something. So if it's shorter, then that's cool. Hello to Morgan, who's in here, and Thomas. Chris is in here and Lou is in here too. So nice to see you all. I This week I wrote 270 Christmas cards and spent £470 on postage. <laughs> so fingers crossed the Christmas cards will all make it. Every year I send out Christmas cards and varying time scales. Sometimes they arrive in a week, some, some of them arrive March. <laughs> we never really know, but it's good fun. And it's good fun to see who is the first person to get their Christmas card. I know Christmas seems a long way away, but when you're sending so many Christmas cards like that, you've got to get a bit organized. It took me four, four and a half hours, I think, to write them, but it was, it was good fun. Will you ever go on a one-year cruise? I, I can't imagine me ever going on a one-year cruise. Um, by the way, thanks to the moderators. We've been on this live stream for one minute, 50 seconds. And I already see weird things going on. So thank you so much for looking after this. I wouldn't try it without you. But I have no plans to do a cruise um, that is longer than two weeks is the longest cruise that I've done. It wouldn't fit in very well with my lifestyle now. I can't really disappear for a year. But if I was older, I didn't have anything kind of tying me to a place that had the money. Absolutely. Why not? That sounds really cool. Yeah, the longest is two weeks I've done on a cruise, which seems like a very long time. Question, can I get away from Hudson? Hudson left about one minute before this live stream. He left the room and I said to him, come back if you want any dreamies. They're right here. <laughs> so, Hudson, maybe he will come back. I don't know. Cats are cats. They do what they want to do. Um, but I have a blanket. I have dreamies. It's warm in here-ish. So I put the heater, heater, the heater on just for this live stream. Normally, I don't, I haven't uh, put my heating on yet this year, but I thought for this one, and I'm always moving around. Um, <laughs> thank you, Adam, who's become he's been a member for six months. Amazing! Can't wait for the holiday cards. Awesome, so cool. Did you have any ideas about the next Hudson plushie? So this this is Hudson one. Here. He's the original Captain Hudson. This is Captain Hudson 2. This is Captain Hudson 3. And we've just finished sales of Captain Hudson 3. Um, so when I have enough people on the wait list who want version 4 and version 3 has arrived, then we'll start sending those out, getting those made. Uh, it's going to be some sort of beach Hudson, I think. So we have Formal Night Hudson. We have Life Jacket Hudson. I'm thinking like a Hawaiian shirt would be kind of cool. <laughs> Charlotte says, how are you not freezing? Just because I have heated up this corner of the room. Um, I, I don't normally have my heating on in the house. I have an electric blanket and you'll find me under that. It seems pointless to heat up the whole room. Hudson will sit with me or on another electric blanket. If I'm if I'm not under it, he still sits on it. But yeah. Um, Sarah says, is there a rough estimate on when Captain Hudson will be shipped? So there's two batches. What I did to make it faster is I pre-ordered a thousand and the first a thousand are shipping out end of November and the rest are shipping out beginning of December. So they should be arriving before Christmas. That's why I did that. So fingers crossed. Yeah, that's the plan. Straw hat on a beach Hudson is the is a must. He he needs to keep his captain's hat. He's Captain Hudson. He's not like on vacation. He's just Captain Hudson, but at the beach. He's st still the same guy. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for all of your questions. Uh, some we some weird ones in here today. <laughs> Are you likely to go on a Cunard ship anytime soon? That's a lovely nice question mark. Thank you so much. Uh, I don't have any plans to. I have cruised on Queen Victoria, and I've cruised on Queen Mary 2. Um, I would love to do a proper transatlantic with Cunard. I think that would be really cool. Queen Anne is a new Cunard ship that's coming out next year. She looks very interesting, but I don't have any booked at the minute. 
No, this is not cruise related. I'm curious. Do you wear an Apple Watch or a Fitbit? It's perfectly fine to ask not cruise related questions if it's something that's, you know, related to me or, or my job or this is what I'm wearing. Uh, I have an Apple Watch now. I was a Fitbit user for many, many years. But the problem with the Fitbit was I would take it off to put it on charge and I would leave it for like a week or two weeks. I would just forget that it existed. These ones, you have to charge them or I charge this every day. But because I do it every day, it just fits so much better into my routine. I will say though, on a cruise I did recently, I tracked a walk and you can do inside walk or outside walk. And if you do outside, it looks at where you actually are. And I accidentally did an outside walk when I was walking around the top deck. And it said I did 10 kilometers in 20 minutes, which I had I had a look. And that's like a world record, which is very fast. But I didn't. It was just me moving across the sea like that. Let me know if this stream looks good for you and sort of sounds good. I see a comment about it being laggy. But for me, all of my signs are, are green and good. So fingers crossed it's OK. Uh, how many cruises do you have booked right now? I have three cruises booked right now. Uh, Mandy says, how much did you raise in total for your last head shave? I did it a few years ago and embraced the gray afterwards. That's the most amazing way to do that. I think that that's very cool. I'll do that at some point. Um, last time was 45,000 US dollars, which is just crazy. I had a haircut today, actually. I don't know if you can tell, um, but it is back to a normal haircut now, which is very nice. It, it, took, it seemed to take a while, <laughs> but I'm so glad. Um, what cruise company would you recommend for older people? That's a very difficult question to ask because older people are not all the same. And, and what is an older person? So what I would recommend, go to emmacruises.com, put in your email address. I have a free guide, compares all the cruise lines, formality, how busy they are, what the ships are like. And it goes through in a free email series, everything you want to know about cruising. That's all the information you need. Um, some older people, you know, if I put them on a certain cruise, they would hate it. They would love another one. It's very specific what, what cruise line you would like. They're all, good, they're all good at their own thing. That's the thing. Um, I don't think there's really any bad cruise lines that I know of. People always ask me, what's a bad cruise line? You know, for some people, this one may be terrible, but for others, it's great. And yeah, it's just finding the right one. Hello to, oh, we have people in Canada. We have Rich in here uh, from Philly. Very cool. Adam says, do you agree the best time to book a cruise is as far out as possible? Yes, if you can. <laughs> Most people, I think, don't like to plan. Well, I don't know. I don't like to plan two or three years in advance. I have no idea what I'm going to do two years in advance. So for me, it's not not best. Um, but generally speaking, if you can book when they launch a new itinerary, when they launch a new ship, it's very rare that you'll get it cheaper than at that actual launch. It may come down in the last two or three months, but it may be sold out. It may never come down again. So, yeah. David says, who does your nails? They look professionally done. I've only had my nails professionally done once in my life, and that was for graduation, <laughs> my university graduation. Um, I do my nails myself. They're, they're pretend, they're plastic. They're always plastic. You'll see them change all the time in my videos because I change them a lot. Uh, Tom says, is there any way to have the email course in just one solid email? There is no way to do that. Well, I suppose there kind of is. So what there is, is the email course will send you an email every three days and it goes through all the cruise lines, how to book, where to book, what you're going to have to spend money on, where cruise ships go, what the peak times are, everything in order. Um, I do have an audio version. If you're someone who doesn't want to wait and you don't want to read, I have an audio version, which is adapted sorry, microphone, but it's a download of all of these audio files. And you can just listen to me talking about everything. If you're in the car, if you're, you know, wherever else, wherever else you're doing, tidying, hoovering, as we would say in Britain, you can just listen to me. Um, and with those, you can have all of the emails at once. So yeah, the email one is free. The audio one is not free. It is linked in the emails though. So yes, if you get on the email one, you'll find either. Oh, lovely comment says, first time catching a stream, only found you recently. And while I never want to go on a cruise, your content is great. Thank you very much. I have I have a lot of people who watch my videos who never want to go on a cruise, which is totally fair enough. It's so cool, I think, to be able to see inside cruise ships without having to do it yourself. I think really that's why YouTube works for cruising, because it is a big commitment. As much as you can tell a friend, oh, cruising is great, this and that, until they can see it. It's a gamble, isn't it? Whereas if they've seen it, they know what's going to happen on embarkation day. They know what they're going to have to pay for. 
they can look at it and they can say, yep, or nope. <laughs> and I think that's so much better. Travel with Dave and Bill say, now that you've been on both, do you prefer Iona or Arvia? They're very similar. I just I just got to block a weird comment. Bear with me a second. Um, they're, they're almost exactly the same. The only real difference that made a difference to me is Arvia has an American diner. I Iona doesn't. And I went there three times. I really like the American diner. So I would pick Arvia, but I could almost make my Arvia video using my Iona footage and just put in put in the diner. I won't, <laughs> but I could do that. Yeah, strange. It's really weird with these live streams. Sometimes we get a lot of weird comments and other times we get none. It tends to be sort of related to how how wide my content's going. If a video doesn't get many views for me, that means it's just the people who know me who watch it and want to see what I'm doing. And all the comments tends to be really nice. But sometimes it goes to an audience that really doesn't like cruising, really doesn't like me. That's when it gets a lot of views. And um, people come to these live streams. But I have a great team of moderators. Thank you so much to everyone looking after this. Timothy says, what would you recommend as a warm weather cruise in Europe for a first time cruiser? If you're in Europe and you want to do a first time cruise, seven days Mediterranean loop, preferably from Barcelona. I think that's the easiest place to go from. There we go. <laughs> Done. It is so good. You can do five different countries in a week. You don't have to have any sea days at all. Um, if you're not sure how you're going to feel, if you're going to feel seasick or if you're not going to like being at sea, book a cruise with no sea days. You still have to sail between the ports, of course at night um but it's a good way to sort of get an idea so yeah and so interesting so easy to do your own thing so easy to wander around um is there a way to book a tui river cruise without the included uk flights from outside the uk so yes but also no because i did price this up recently and it was basically like tui river cruise 1500 pounds with flights to be river cruise, £1,600 without flights. <laughs> so they're basically saying, we want you to fly, or they just want people who are going to do it as a package. Um, you can just pay for the flights and not use them if you want. Normally, they include flights that are from like England to Germany or somewhere. So it's a couple of hundred pounds. It's not that much. But you can't get a discount for not including the flights, really, with TUI, which is, it is a bit odd. It doesn't make too much sense. Um. Oh, interesting. Booked with you, Emma. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Is an excursion from Le Havre to Paris worth it? I absolutely do not think so. I mean, if this is the absolute one time that you're going to go on a trip, <laughs> say you live somewhere and you decide, say you live in Australia and you're like, I'm only going to come to Europe once in my entire life. This is the only time. <laughs> then maybe. But for anybody else who could ever go to Paris any other way, go any other way. I went to Le Havre with Royal Caribbean, looked at the prices of the excursions, came home, booked a trip on the Eurostar and two nights in Paris for cheaper than the excursion. <laughs> and we had two days in Paris instead of like, you get like three hours because it's a, it's a lot of travel. Mark says, how do you know if you'll get seasick on a ship if you've never been on one? I think if you're someone who gets travel sick, I mean, I get travel sick in cars. Um, I can't go backwards on trains very well. If you're an emotion sick person, you probably know that you're an emotion sick person. Um, and even me, you know, I get I get travel sick in cars and everything. I can't really do VR very well. That makes me feel quite sick. But I don't go on a cruise assuming I'm going to get seasick. If the weather is fine, you barely know that the ship is moving. It's just if we encounter a storm. And I encounter more storms than most because I cruise any time of the year on the most random cruise ships in the weirdest places because I figure why not? Like, you know, I can, so why not? Um, I would not recommend taking seasickness medicine before a cruise. Just some people do. Some people really don't want to get seasick. But for me... I don't want to take medicine just in case something may happen. Mm, that doesn't work with me. Um, are you ever lonely working without colleagues? I feel like I have so many colleagues now, though, because I talk all the time to different people about different things. That's what's nice. You know, if I want to talk about YouTube videos, I have my friends who do similar things, not just in cruising, but in different spaces. I have friends who do the more sort of blogging side. I have friends who are solely selling courses. I have friends who are travel agents. So then I do that stuff. So I feel like I just have, instead of having an office, I used to work, there was 25 in our team at the beginning. Um, instead of having 20 people who I see every day, I have like 
500 people who I know. <laughs> so if I need things, yeah, exactly. Even like my Patreons, it feels like if I need something, like guys, can you check this video before it goes live? Or is this a weird thing to say? Or I, I today I got the first draft of the Captain Hudson children's book, the beginning of it. And it's so cool. So I want to share it. And I have people like Lou, who's was in my Patreon group. We have a Discord chat to be like, what do you think of this? Do you give me any ideas? So yeah, not I don't I don't feel lonely. Definitely not. Um, I don't have any cruises booked on Icon of the Seas. No, she looks interesting. I mean, I cruise recently on Symphony of the Seas, and that is at the moment the second biggest cruise ship in the world by one meter. <laughs> one meter. Um, but I enjoyed that, so I'm sure I would enjoy Icon. I I probably will get on there at some point, but I'm not gonna be on the, the beginning launch. Jamie says, what are your plans for the Emma Cruises Star Christmas party? <laughs> Maybe I could get Hudson one of those um, dreamy advent calendars. Do they have dreamy advent calendars? They definitely have cat treat advent calendars. <laughs> Jackie says, I'm singing We Are the Colleagues to the tune of We Are the Champions. <laughs> I love that. Uh, Dale says, have you found the more you cruise, the less seasickness you feel? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> the worst seasickness I've ever felt was in March of this year. So no, not, not really. Um, but that was in the Arctic Circle on a ship that was 25 years old. That was every it, that was everything you should not do if you get seasick. And I did it all. And it was absolutely worth it. <laughs> yeah, Icon is very expensive right now. Very expensive. Um Oh, <laughs> Sandy says, please never stop. I I've been on YouTube since 2017, I think. I started my website in 2016 and I have no plans to stop. I do look at the stuff that I used to make and I think, how did I manage to do this before work? And, um, you know, in my evenings, because I put out a lot of content, like I have 450 videos, I think now. Yeah. <laughs> my mom says a trip to Ikea. <laughs> that sounds good. I do like Ikea. And there is an Ikea in Southampton, so. That works. Um, if you had to sail straight for one year, one ship, which ship would it be? That is tricky. I think if I was going to do a really long cruise, I wouldn't want to do as, as fun as it is to do a really exciting cruise ship with rock climbing walls and zip lines and stuff. I don't think I'd want to do a crazy ship like that. Um, but I wouldn't want to do a particularly small ship either. I'd want something mid-sized. So maybe I would do a celebrity that would be quite nice celebrity or princess something like that oh i think bnm has dreamy's cat vent calendars <laughs> very nice i have bought my advent calendar um are advent calendars british things is that a britishism i'm not sure if people in other countries have advent calendars but i do i've just got the dairy milk one the normal one <laughs> yeah i yeah the this the icon cruises yeah, it's something else. But but it's so exciting. So I totally understand the price. Would you go back on Asian cruises? Yes. If you can only do one cruise in your life, cruise to Asia. It is the best place, best place to travel. Um, oh, Jonathan says America has advent calendars. Ah, cool. Because you don't really have Easter eggs in the same way that we do. And I don't know how I could, could do Easter without the proper Easter eggs, the big chocolate eggs. I'd miss that. But yeah, I'm glad you have advent calendars. That is good. Yeah, Canada has advent calendars. Good, good, good. I am glad. But yes, if you can only do one cruise in your life, make it an Asia cruise. It is absolutely amazing. It is fantastic. Every place is so cool. And I think a cruise is the best way to explore Asia. Um, I would never have just gone, I'm just going to go to Vietnam for one day. <laughs> like to try and organize that by myself would be really hard on land. But a cruise is like being looked after. Um, so, yeah, I think I think absolutely. If if I could, I'd go back tomorrow for sure. <laughs> Jason says, "Hi Emma, what is the weirdest thing you found in your cabin that's been left by a previous guest?" Jason, I feel like you may have watched my. Maybe you haven't, but I feel like you may have watched my Cunard videos on Queen Mary too, because it wasn't in my cabin. It was in my mum and my dad's cabin, but there was a massive bra, <laughs> massive bra. A big black bra with like lace on the sides. We put it in the bin. Um, but I put it in one of my YouTube videos. And I said, is this anyone's? Let me know in the comments. It's been claimed like a thousand times. Crazy. Oh, Phil says, Ikea in Southampton is a great place for a pre 
pre-disembarkation breakfast. Interesting. Pre-disembarkation makes me think um before you've embarked. Oh, either pre-embarkation <laughs> or after disembarkation. I think that makes sense. Uh, Steve says, are you going to the Wave Awards? Congratulations on being nom nominated. No, I am not going to the Wave Awards, but I have been before. I do have the long sparkly dress that I wore last time, which I do wear on cruises now. So that's good. It's probably the most formal dress that I have. Uh, no Easter eggs. Yeah, they, do, they don't. No, not everywhere has these giant Easter eggs, the hollow Easter eggs that we have. The dairy milk ones, of course. <laughs> yeah, I'm, gl I'm glad about the advent calendars. Uh, David says, will tracking information be emailed when Hudson version 3 is shipped? Yes. So as soon as he is made and he's shipped, they're all done in, in, it's not like a big batch is done. When some are done, then they'll be sent and then the next amount will be sent. And then, yeah, you'll get whatever email you have your email confirmation to. Um, it'll go there. Yes. I forgot to put up my uh, little discount today, but here is my discount because this is the most asked for discount. I get emails all the time wanting disembarkation day. So this is my disembarkation day t-shirt. You've seen me wear this probably on cruises because it is so easy to just leave this out. And it's so good because when you're on a cruise, you pack away all your stuff into the suitcase normally, leave it outside your room. And you have to remember, you have to remember to not pack a t-shirt or you won't have a t-shirt to disembark the ship in um and i like it because i will i will not wear it during the cruise so it's always there you know what i mean so this is the discount for 24 hours only this one by popular demand we've had this one before and i don't normally bring them back but yeah uh yeah phil says embarkation that makes more sense that makes more sense <laughs> yeah yeah, by Christmas is the plan. That is the plan. Yes. So I have booked a little river cruise, which is very exciting because it's been a long time since I've done a river cruise. And I really like them. And um, I booked the cheapest cabin on this cruise, but it is a suite, which I know sounds absolutely crazy. I'm not normally a suite cruiser, uh, but... I would I would have booked a they don't have inside cabins, so that's not a question. They don't have inside cabins on river ships, they're just too small. So I would have booked a balcony, a normal balcony, right? But they're all sold out. And there was a, a discount that made a suite cheaper than anything else. So I booked the cheapest one. Uh, it happened to be a suite. It's not like a suite with a piano and a slide and all of that stuff. It's a big balcony, but it'll be really cool. It'll be really cool. I'm looking forward to it. Um, is it is the connection looking good? Some people say yes. Some people say no. For me, it it, it it seems like it's fine. Adam says it's fine. We're going with Adam. Adam is the final answer. Connection is fine. Not that I can do anything, even if it's not fine. We've had a lot of wind, a lot of rain. I'm sure it's knocked down some internet towers. But yes, Victoria is here from New Zealand. Hopefully, it's managing to get over to New Zealand. Okay, good connection. Fine in Texas. That's good. Normally, I find it's things work really far away and then you just try and talk to someone close by and it doesn't work. Los Angeles, interesting. I don't know which lens to look into. Um, is it this one? That one, that one, that's it. Okay, I can make eye contact with you now. <laughs> I'm using my phone as the uh, webcam and it has more than one lens. So I poked them both, now I know it's that one. Awesome. So yesterday I went to the theatre and I was recognised in the theatre, not on a cruise ship, on land, which is always not something I'm used to, but very cool, very nice. And um, I went to see Mrs. Doubtfire the musical, if you can believe that is a thing. I didn't know that was a thing, but it was very funny. It was good. Um, they updated it a lot. Mrs. Doubtfire the film is actually pretty old now, so it was cool. Yeah, I don't know. I, there's nothing I can do. David says the connection is fabulous. Fabulous. <laughs> that is so good. Yeah. Now I've lost all the questions because it just says connection is bad, connection is good, connection is bad. Um, very good. Yes. Uh, do you have a recommended Asian I cruise itinerary? I mean, for me, Japan was my absolute standout. Amazing. But then also Singapore is fantastic. Hong Kong is fantastic. Vietnam was so humid. <laughs> but apart from that, it was fantastic. Uh, which cruise have you had the most fun on? I think I've had fun on every cruise that I've ever been on. I, d I, I don't know which one is the most fun. Depends who I'm with, really. You know, 
Some cruises, I'm with people who it's very funny. Some we go to amazing places or some I learn things. They're all fun in different ways. <laughs> Not sure about updating a comedy like Mrs. Doubtfire. I mean, in Mrs. Doubtfire, they have part of the joke is they're sitting in the smoking section and then the not smoking section and you don't have that in restaurants anymore so it's just things like that that they updated a little bit uh, but it was very funny the guy whoever he is uh, big big shoes to fill being mrs doubtfire but he did a really good job yeah it is haircut day for sure um no i saw it in london i didn't i didn't i didn't know it was in southampton if it is I saw it in london um how often do you connect with other cruise YouTubers? I would say most days I'd probably talk to someone who's a cruise YouTuber. Actually, it'd be very rare if I went a day <laughs> where I didn't. Yeah, cruise boys say cruising with us is the best. I mean, the track record is we had a cruise cancel while we were at dinner, guys. <laughs> but it was still very, very much fun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Alexander says, have you ever met someone on a cruise ship who lives there full time? I've not met. There's a few people who are almost well, I suppose they are famous for living on ships and people know which ships they're going to be on. I've never met any of those names, but I've met people who will say, I'm here for three months or like a really, really long time, which is pretty cool. Uh, Jenny says, do you still usually book guaranteed cabins? We like to pick ours. Yes, I can't really think of a time where I would not. Actually, I did book one cruise, not guaranteed, because there's a weird cabin. And for a YouTube video, I wanted the weird cabin. Uh, but for every other cruise, I book guaranteed cabins. There's no reason to pay more, I don't think. I've never had a location of cabin that I've regretted. They all have their own quirks. They're all good in one way or bad in the other. Um, we had three cabins when we were on board Arvia. Two balconies that were in quote unquote, a good location. One that was mine that was in a less desirable, you would say, because it's right at the front. And uh, mine was right at the front, but it was really quiet. And the ones that are in the good location were a good location, but really noisy. So <laughs> most of them are sort of perks and drawbacks. And I just take whichever ones I get. You know, a lot of people will really try and avoid being at the ends of the ship, but that's normally where the suites are. The big suites are normally at the back. Have you ever met someone who's been able to downgrade to inside cabins after starting with balconies? Me. <laughs> My first cruise was in a balcony, which maybe you wouldn't expect it. But yeah. Yeah. Loads of people, like loads, loads. I know cruise boys are in here. They did their first inside cabin. Um, and now they book inside cabin sometimes. And it's totally fine. Totally fine. Who is the most famous person you met on a cruise? I've never met a famous person on a cruise. I mean, I guess I'm, I'm, I did a cooking class with Marco Pierre White. He's a famous chef. Um, but to me, the most famous person was Daniel from the Undatables, who was on Norwegian Epic when I was on there. But I didn't say hi. I was too, too, too nervous. What happens to Captain Hudson when you're away? The real Hudson, he stays at home. The humans rotate around him. He is the center of the world. Makes no difference to him which humans are here. Uh, these ones I bring with me. I normally just bring the latest version and I sort of retire the other ones at home. But some people bring two or three. And I think it's my favorite thing just to see where he's been and what he's been doing. I saw he was on like, um, I think he was on, on Goofy. Oh, real Hudson's here on Goofy's hat <laughs> the other day. Um, but here's real Hudson, right on time. Oh, gosh, you are cold. You've been outside, mister. Okay, okay, stay still. Are you going to do some high fives for them? Go on, then. Can you do it? Can you do it? You got stage fright? High five. There we go. He's such a good boy. <laughs> Yeah, cruise boys, they have downgraded from a balcony to an inside. Yes. Um, is it true P&O solos are in bad locations? Um, I, I think I wouldn't want to just say yes or just say no. Some of them are, some of them aren't. I met a guy on Arvia who had a solo inside cabin. And it was tiny. I've never seen any cabin so small in my life. You were doing good, Hudson. He's so clever. Have you done a transatlantic going on Prima next week? No, I have not done a transatlantic. When I had a normal job, it was kind of like I just didn't want to 
use up that much holiday, I guess. Um, I could do it now, and I will do it at some point. Good boy, Hudson. You're so clever. Um, <laughs> Andrew says, did Marco Pierre White yell at you? No, he was lovely. <laughs> it was really nice. I made a mushroom risotto. Hudson, there's one left. You don't want that one? Okay. Here, this way. There you go. That's your pudding. <laughs> Britishism for you there. Pudding being just dessert. It doesn't have to be a pudding. Um, yeah, I just call dessert pudding. But no, Marco Pierre White was lovely. He was not shouty at all. Uh, they do cooking classes on P&O cruises sometimes. And that's what I did. That's what I did. And I never, ever, ever cooked that dish again. And since then, I cook rice in the microwave. <laughs> Don't tell him. Uh, how do you stop people from stealing door decorations? Nothing really you can do. Um, this is something that some people do, not something I've ever done, but people get magnets and they put them on the outside of their door sometimes if it's someone's birthday or they may have a little, um, sometimes people put little boards so other people can write on it. You know, it says, where are you from? People write messages and stuff. I just wouldn't put anything outside your cabin that you're particularly worried about getting stolen because it's you can't see it. And uh, the cruise ship has other things to worry about rather than like who stole my magnet like they're not gonna care <laughs> uh his is Hudson an outdoor cat or does he just stay he's an outside cat he goes he comes it's great because it goes to the toilet outside so I never have to deal with anything like that um but yeah most most cats I would say in the UK are out, out outdoor cats free roaming cats uh we don't have coyotes <laughs> which seems to be a problem in other places so yeah He's, he's free roaming wherever he wants to go. He is a he is a good boy. Yeah, he's very clever. Very, very clever. He is, uh, yeah, I think smart. <laughs> have you booked an off balcony? Any opinions, says Eric? I've not booked one myself, but I have been in ones when my friends have had them, and they're nice. I like them. I like them more than, well, I don't know, more than. Depends. They're normally bigger balconies, and the actual balcony is quite nice, and it's normally nicer, I would say, than a sideways balcony. Uh, you can get more noise out there, I guess. We didn't have any problems with it. My parents had a off balcony on Emerald Princess. I had a sideways one. It was nice for sailaways and stuff, but they had a pole in the way, um, which was fine. It was perfectly fine. Yeah, if I put anything on the cabin door, it has to be something that I won't be upset if it's stolen. Yeah, I think so. My only door decoration is the do not disturb sign. Yeah. Interesting. Um, did you or your family ever need medical services on a cruise? Thankfully, no. Do you have insurance for that booked every time? Yes. Never, ever go on a cruise without travel insurance. If you're going to do it, don't tell me because <laughs> it makes me feel quite unwell. It is not worth the risk. On my last cruise, we had to do a 2 a.m. stop, an extra stop in Spain to drop off a lady. Um, medical emergency. I hope she had travel insurance because it can get very, very expensive. You think diverting a cruise ship or getting out a helicopter. Yeah. It's expensive just to see them. If you need to see a doctor, it's expensive. So yeah, definitely, definitely have insurance. And you can benefit from your insurance. It's not just for bad things. You know, if if you miss a port, you can get missed port cover. That's my favorite one to use. If you did, if they did lose your bag, you know, it's like an airport. Sometimes they do lose bags, just statistically. They're dealing with thousands. So I would always want to be covered for that. <laughs> yeah. Do not put an upside down pineapple on your cabin door unless you're into that thing. Yeah. One to avoid. And if you're not sure what it is, Google Emma Cruz's pineapple. And it'll come up on my website. Yes, this is a good idea. Work really hard on our door, door decorations. Make them specific. Yeah, if it says something like Jamie and Anne's 25th <laughs> Princess Cruise or something, it's a bit weird that someone else would do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think same. What are you doing if you have no travel insurance? Agreed, but some people do it. And you're only going to make that mistake once. Yeah. 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 You need, yeah, you need travel insurance and it needs to say cruise. Even if you have, tra even if you have travel insurance through a bank account or something, they normally don't include cruise. So make sure it includes cruise. Yeah. NCL bans stuff on doors. Yeah. A lot of cruise lines don't allow you to decorate your doors. I think because some people do damage the doors. The idea is it's supposed to just be magnets but you know people put tape on them and stuff and i get it 
Do you prefer a balcony cabin or an inside one? New to cruising and not sure what to go for. Hmm, good question. I book both now. Um, there's certain places where I think a balcony cabin is worth it if you can. If you're doing a cruise that's some somewhere really picturesque and you have long sailings, if you're doing like a Norway cruise, Alaska cruise, I would say that it's worth it. If you're doing a cruise and it is going in October and it is going to La Havre, Bruges and you know industrial ports it's gonna be dark by the time you sail away anyway so i don't think it's worth it yeah rich says i think it's the kids who steal the door magnets as a game yeah i did cruise as a, a kid and a teenager and i can say i never stole anyone's door magnets but it seems like the thing seems like the thing yes yeah p and o require travel insurance yeah uh the travel agents that i work with we need you to have travel insurance <laughs> because we're not taking the responsibility for you not having it. Um, so I work with travel agents in the UK. That's basically where I booked with a certain travel agent five or six times. And I thought, I'm not recommending anybody else. Can you help me? <laughs> Please book cruises. So I now have a team in the UK that's travel counselors. And I have a team in the US, which has taught me so much. My goodness. It's very different, the cruising world in the US and, and the UK, the way your taxes work and your fees and your cancellation policies. It is different. We use magnets to help find the cabin. That is quite nice. You know, if you're going down those long corridors, I have in the past walked w right past the cabin <laughs> for sure. Um, yeah, as Martin Lewis says, yeah, I trust Martin Lewis on everything. Uh, he's a money man <laughs> in the uk and he says as soon as you book for the travel insurance yes yes um how soon do you normally book flights before a cruise i normally book my flights with my cruise and i book it through my travel agent together because that way the travel agent is responsible if the flight's cancelled they'll have to find you another flight if it's delayed and you're going to miss the ship they'll be dealing with that not me um so that's what i normally do but i the only reason I wouldn't book flights is if I'm waiting for a route to go on sale or something. But really, I want to have it booked as soon as, as soon as possible. Uh, Jamie says, new merch idea, magnetic Hudson stickers for cruise cabin doors. We already have these. It is on emmacruisesshop.com. We have all of my designs in magnets. The most popular one for the cabin doors is the one that says, I'm here with Captain Hudson. Because if you have a Captain Hudson in there, then... I think that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any tips for dealing with elevators on disembarkation day? Long lines and full lifts were frustrating for us. So I normally do self disembark with my luggage so that I can go off any time. If you stick to the time that they say, they will take your luggage off for you. But I don't want to wait on disembarkation day. I just want to go. So I'm the person who is there on disembarkation day with my suitcase sweating, exhausted, carrying my suitcase down 10 flights of stairs because I I don't I just want to go when it's disembarkation day. My cruise is over. It's not fun for me to sit in a buffet that's so busy. So I normally just leave. Um but there's really nothing you can do. <laughs> like you're just gonna have to be patient and wait. It depends on the cruise line of course. You know if you're cruising on a more luxurious cruise line you'll have a lot more space per person. But if you're cruising on you know a mainstream one, a family one, other people need them. So you just got to wait. That's all you can do. I finished today. Well, almost finished my script for my first Avia video, p and Avia. And that is a British cruise line. And it's a big family ship. And I always like to go on the cruise, come back and then look at the reviews of the cruise. And it's unbelievable that some of these people cruised on the same cruise as me. And some of the reviews, I've never really seen reviews before where they're just being mean about everybody else on the cruise. <laughs> like really mean things they say. <laughs> it's quite funny. <laughs> yeah mm -mm -mm. Uh, Lisa says thank you for answering my question you are very welcome I try to answer as many as I see the chat goes quite fast and I can't really just go in order or we would still be way up there uh, but I do my best to answer as many as I can so yeah we do these most weeks normally if I'm away sometimes it changes the day because I'm not sure about wi-fi but I try and do these live streams once a week if you do have a question that you want me specifically to answer then I have a podcast that I do for my patreons and my channel members there should be a join button here my th I think it's flipped for you so somewhere around the subscribe button there's a join button it's five dollars a month you get to ask any questions in the podcast I answer them all you get access to our discord chat I do outtakes for my videos 
Uh, what else do we do? We do tons of things. Any thoughts on the MSC Yacht Club? Yeah, it's interesting. I've never stayed in it, but I have been on it in it uh, with friends or on tours. I had dinner in there once, which was nice. What it is, is it's a small section on an MSC ship that's more expensive than the rest. <laughs> Basically, it's a more exclusive section. And if you're on an MSC cruise, if you're doing it in school holidays, amazing to have Yacht Club because it gives you a bit of peace and quiet. If you're cruising somewhere random at a random time of year and it's not going to be that busy is it worth it i don't know i've not stayed in there but i think it's most worth it when you're doing a busy cruise and you're basically just getting guaranteed space <laughs> that's what you're paying for because uh, some cruises can get pretty busy in, in school holidays especially msc i mean they're a family cruise line they're on the budget end if you spend more you get less kids on a cruise generally speaking um what is the most aesthetic cruise you've been on? Depends on what you think is pretty or not. I mean, some of them are really, like Costa cruises are really colorful. The, the public bathrooms on Costa are my absolute favorite. Every single one is striped all the way around. The floor is a different color. The sinks are a color. So you'll be like, this is the orange bathroom. This is the green bathroom. This is the yellow bathroom. <laughs> and they're really cool. Uh, noticed Emma, you rarely speak on your videos. Any particular reason? I should put this comment next to everyone who says, Why is this lady just talking for 25 minutes? She's so annoying. Ugh. I get so many comments like that, but I don't understand what people expect when they click on a video that says, I took a cruise, and then I'm telling people about the cruise. Uh, but I think what this means is, Why don't I vlog like in the buffet? Like, hey guys, I'm eating toast or something because I absolutely hate it. <laughs> I did it for a while. If you go back on my channel, you'll see that stuff. But I don't think that allows me to make a good story. Uh, it, it's not fun for me. I don't like people looking at me. If I could just the whole cruise, then I absolutely would. Um, yeah. So I, I think I used to do it because that's what everyone else did. And I thought that's what you should do. I tried it. It doesn't work for me. Um, because you get a lot of repeating, you know, if you're filming and then talking, for me, it was always like a summary of like, I've just been to dinner. Of course, you've just shown it. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I get to I properly script word for word all of my videos now. John says, anyone else see the resemblance between Emma and Dr. Becky? Yes, because I get this comment every single day. <laughs> We're not the same person. Yeah, cruise boys say, hate vlogging when eating. It is cringy. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't need people to see me eat. It's really, yeah. No, no, thank you. <laughs> oh, great answer. Totally understand. Awesome. That is cool. That is cool. Ah, uh, Jessica says, those watching on iPhone, there is no join button. Watch on a laptop or iPad to access those functions. Interesting. I never knew that. Uh, we do have Patreon. It's called just Emma Cruises on Patreon. And that is, uh, well, I'm, I'm on YouTube, so I'm not going to say Patreons. I'll just say nothing. <laughs> Mm. any plans to see d and j when they are over there i didn't know that they were over here so i think that says no um but i'll ca i'll catch up with them after this and see what they're doing jenny says is scrapping reserves embarkation times a good idea seems to be more queuing early on um i don't know which ones are scrapping embarkation times i mean some of them seem to still have them some of them don't mm. i don't know I get really annoyed when I get an embarkation time of like 3 p.m. or something because I want to get my lunch. Yeah. Thank you, Jackie, for sharing the link to my Patreon. Patreon's definitely easier because I can send everyone direct messages to say thank you. It is my Patreons and my channel members I send my Christmas cards to. I would love to send them to everyone, but £470 of postage I paid yesterday. So that is why it is within the pay wall, because I need the money to buy the postage <laughs> and the cards. Tips for cruising without a drinks package. Mm. So make the most out of the drinks that are included. I mean, if I don't have a drinks package, I'll just drink the water with dinner. You know, I don't need a drink with dinner. The main thing is dinner for me. Um, if you go to the buffet, you'll find tea, you'll find coffee. Some cruise lines like Royal Caribbean, they have lemonade in there all the time. They have like fruit punch. 
you can always go and get that stuff and then take it somewhere else. So Ombro Caribbean, they have a 270 cafe and then like a big lounge. You can just go get a lemonade from there that's included and then sit in the other place. And that's totally fine. That's not weird. <laughs> so if you're willing to just carry things, you know, if you go to the buffet and get a cup of tea, it's included. If you go to a bar and it's not included, you can just carry the other one if you want. So yeah, do that. Bring those tiny squirty squashes. That's what I normally drink in the cabin. Um, if you're not from the UK, squashes, diluted juice, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's it. That's that's what I would say. Make the most of any free welcome drinks, any meetups for anything. Sometimes they have free drinks. Yeah, all cruise with a cruise line that includes drinks, of course. Yeah, of course. Which cruise ship have you been on that has the longest swimming pool? I have, if I had to guess, longest? Maybe Celebrity, I feel like they have quite big swimming pools. Uh, Princess, they're normally, they have a lot, but maybe they're not that big. Um, they're not normally very long compared to, you know, on land swimming pools, of course. Oh, Laura says, thank you for making your videos. They are incredibly helpful. Without them, I would be completely clueless. Oh, I like that. The idea of taking someone from completely clueless to having some idea about this is just, that is exactly why I started this. It's so cool. Um, what is stopping people with a drinks package from ordering them and giving them to friends? Not planning on doing this. Uh, the waiters seeing you, someone in the restaurant seeing you, the CCTV, which is everywhere, seeing you, you're risking you and your friends being banned from not just that cruise line, but any other cruise line that that company owns. So if you go on a Princess Cruise, P&O Cruise, they're all owned by Carnival. If you were caught sharing drinks, they could, whether they would, but they could ban you from all of those cruise ships. Uh, so I would not risk that at all. And also, I would feel so bad because if you are, say you're at dinner and someone is giving you drinks and they're not yours and it gets found out, it would be your waiter would be in trouble. And the last thing I want to do is get any of the crew in trouble because they're just trying to do a job. If I'm being sneaky, that's on me. Oh, Hudson's back. I think he's back for more drinks. Yes, and here is a post uh, with more information from me in the past. <laughs> I wrote this in the past. Yeah, cruise boys say, for long pools, I would say, Hudson, that's too many drinks. Too many. You can, add, you can have just two more. You've had too many. Um, Royal class for princess are larger, certainly not virgin. Yeah, virgin have the smallest, <laughs> smallest pools. Oh, I have something to show you actually. Stay. Hudson, right. Please don't walk on the keyboard. But I just got in the post. I think I got this before it's actually properly launched because my friend Chris sent it to me. But this is from my friend Chris Frame. And I'm actually mentioned in this book, which is really cool. I had no idea. But it's for lovers of cruise, cruise ship history. I love cruise ship history. I know not everybody else does. But it's about how this turned into this. So I put the link to this in the description if this would be of interest to you. But it is so, like, even Hudson's looking at it. You see? Hudson wants to see the book. <laughs> There's lovely pictures in it. Um, it's not too hard, too hard to read, which <laughs> it's more of a, you know, sit down, read a bit coffee table book that's exactly what it is um so that's cool i thought that was nice some of you may have seen chris frame he's been on on this live stream before he's a uh, he lectures on cruise ships which is very cool very cool so this is this link in the description if you want it i feel like i'm on i don't know one of those things where they sell books but yes yeah, so the the captain hudson book progress is coming along very well and i am so excited so excited Fingers crossed I can tell you more, but I think you're going to like it. I think you're going to like it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start a wait list for people who are interested in the Captain Hudson's children's books because I want to be able to show a publisher, look, this many people already want it. Please publish my book, <laughs> basically. So I'll let you know. Does Hudson know any other tricks other than high fives? No, not yet. I, I, think, I think it would confuse him. <laughs> I think he's got room for one trick. <laughs> Uh, proud Emma Cruz's Patreon. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Are the restaurants not open on disembarkation day? Uh, it depends on the cruise line. Depends what they want to do. Sometimes they'll have a main dining room open until like nine. And they may have a buffet that's open till 10, maybe. Um, yes, that's my mum in the chat. Thank you to my mum who said exactly the same thing as me. <laughs> buffet and main dining room open. But I'm not a breakfast person, no. My ideal breakfast is a piece of bread and a banana. I 
that's it. That's perfect. And you can always take stuff from the buffet the night before and keep it in your room. Quite often I do that. You know, if you're there in late night snack time or just after dinner and there's some bread rolls or there's a, you know, banana, pick one up, take it back to your room, eat it tomorrow. That's totally fine. Uh, Rich says, do you think cruise vloggers such as yourself have directly contributed to the surging cruising popularity? <laughs> mm, I think that's giving me giving us a lot of credit. But I think we've definitely swayed people who would be thinking, mm, I don't know what to do. What is a cruise like? Not sure. It just gives people confidence, I think, to be able to see it. Um, and I have a lot of viewers who've never been on a cruise a lot who say they have no interest in a cruise and then they eventually do go on a cruise. So I think it's a combination of everything. It's a great time, you know, since the pandemic, travel is booming. So it is all good. It is all good. <laughs> yeah, gone from MSC to QVC. Yes, I'll sell you this hair clip. <laughs> hair, hair tie. It's not even a hair clip. <laughs> I messed up. But the T-shirt the is the thing. This is a real thing you can roll by. For goodness sake, <laughs> discount code disembarkation 24 hours only because people keep asking me for this t shirt because it is the most popular by a long way. Um, and this is to wear when you disembark a cruise so that you don't forget. You don't forget. Does your cat hold a grudge against you for neglecting it while on a cruise? My cats always plot my destruction when I'm not looking at them. No, Hudson doesn't care in the slightest. Oh, he's like, that's my name. He doesn't care. Um, he doesn't care when I'm not here. Other humans are here. I think they give him more dreamies than even I do. So, no, I don't think he minds. I don't think he cares at all. I wish he did, but I don't think he does. Um, oh, me and Tony convinced Zoe to try Virgin and now doing a family Holland America trip. Amazing. That's a good team. Me and Tony, I think, make a good team. Um, we cruise very differently, and I think that's quite cool. Same with sort of like me and Gary. If you ask me and Gary together, one of us will know, but we won't know the same things because <laughs> he picks up. I'm in the inside cabin, ocean view, balcony if I'm lucky. And Gary's like, balcony, sweet, 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 sweet. And then same with cruise lines. If it goes down to the really cheap ones, I mean, mainstream ones, me and Gary both do, but he'll do it in a different way than me. <laughs> so it's really cool. You could rent out babysitting Hudson when you cruise. Hudson has enough humans. He's he's like, stop talking about me. Um, he has enough humans who like to look after him. And he's 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 not for a rent. <laughs> um, is there an itinerary you haven't been on yet or a ship you have not sailed on yet that is on your bucket list? The cruise that is top of my bucket list for next year, I have done before, but I was 11. And if you've watched my videos before or these live streams, you probably know where, where it is. But the top place that I want to go next year is Alaska. And I think I'm going to get there. Uh, Hudson, what are you doing? What? Don't know. He's being bizarre. But yes, so there's so many places that I've not been to that I'd love to go to. I've never been to Australia. I've never really been to that part of the world at all. Um, I was pricing up flights earlier and it's a long way and it it's, yeah. Um, but at some point I'll get over to Australia. I'd love to do like a Panama Canal cruise. Um, there's not really a cruise I wouldn't want to do that I haven't done. <laughs> so I'll try anything once. Um, would you consider hosting a group cruise, says David? I do get asked this one a lot. I don't think so. Well, I think I think I would like to, but I don't think in reality I'm going to do one. I think if you saw what I see of the internet, I don't know if it's something about, you know, being my age and female on the internet, but I get a lot of things that I would, I can't tell people where I am. Uh, rule number one of YouTube is don't tell people where they can find you in advance. And I, I just can't, I just can't, cannot. So <laughs> I'm sorry, but yeah. My mum says, not many people liking this chat. Emma, tell them please. Yes, if you can like this chat, it just, so, it just shows YouTube that you're interested in it. And then in theory, we'll be able to follow you around. Do you think celebrity does something better than the rest? I think it does food <laughs> very well. It does food really well. Buffet, my favorite buffet is celebrity for sure. It was so nice because it was just the small things on celebrity. Like you could go and just get a pot that had berries in it and they would all be fresh. Um, <laughs> and it's small things like that that I think make, make a difference. 
Yeah, Cruz will say, long way to Australia, trust us, we know. I know, when I got off my last, uh, my flight to Singapore that I took recently, it was going to Sydney. So most people were getting off and then getting back on and going again to Sydney. And I can't imagine, because by the time I'd been on there for 13 and a half hours to Singapore, I wanted to go to sleep so much, so much. Yeah. Oh, David says, I think you would make a great host. Thank you. I'm also not very... Um, I would be so nervous and I would feel like I was never able to give everyone enough time or anything. I'd find it really stressful, I think. <laughs> June Stravel says, don't bother booking a cruise through the Panama Canal. It's very boring. Just book the <laughs> just book to canal and watch from port. From port. Interesting. Um, if I'm going to do it, it's going to be on a cruise. Even if it is boring, then I would love to show it on a channel. So, <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, Interesting. It is cheaper and faster to order that book through your link, even though the shipping is high. The total is still less than the US price. Interesting. Uh, this is for Chris's book, I assume, on, on YouTube, right? Um, yeah, Chris's book. Yeah, I don't know how that works. <laughs> yeah, Chris Boys say celebrity buffet. Mm -mm. Yes, they're so good. Hope you've been enjoying some squash and cookies today. I haven't had any cookies in a while. Cruise Boys did bring me some American cookies. They're long gone. But I do have some squash here. And this is uh, peach squash. Peach squash. I think it's underrated peach squash. Hmm. Yeah, some people love the Panama Canal Cruise. I think maybe you have to be interested in that so it's not boring. But I love all of that stuff. I love the, the history of ships and stuff. So I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, I don't get bored very much. My husband didn't enjoy our stay on an, in an all-inclusive resort. He found it boring. Do you reckon he would like cruises since you disembark and visit a new port every day? Yes. I think this is the, in, the, the whole point to, to me is that going on a cruise every day, you unpack once and then every day you're in a different place, depending on your itinerary, of course. But you have the best mix of like your comfort zone that you're familiar with, you know where you're going to eat, you know where you're going to sleep, you know where your clothes are, you know what entertainment there's going to be, but then you go out and you do different things in the day. And I think that's what I really like. So yeah. Peach squash is top quality squash. Rate it. Yeah, it is good. I will say I did, this is too strong. This is not diluted, right? Interestingly, the instructions on this say you should have two tablespoons of squash who is measuring squash in tablespoons <laughs> that's really weird <laughs> yeah chris's book on uk amazon is available next day yeah it's on 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 prime amazon prime mm -hmm. what is the difference between american and british cookies um what americans call cookies is everything we call biscuits plus cookies you just call everything cookies whereas for us a cookie is like this it's bigger it's gooey it might have chocolate chips in it it's definitely not a biscuit really so you can have biscuits that are cookies they're like really small maryland cookies but um yeah i think in america cookies is just a bigger term than it is in the uk hopefully that makes sense we're putting tons of britishisms into the captain hudson's books by the way because in the Captain Hudson's children's books, obviously Captain Hudson is captain of a ship. Everyone on the ship, all the people that work there are different animals. Some of them are American. Hudson will teach them different phrases. And uh, children come on this ship. That is, is the planet. Of course, in every book, Hudson saves the day because he's the hero. But it's really, really, it is the best thing I've ever made for sure. And I, I didn't write it. I can't write children's books. But, fi but fingers crossed we're going to see it soon. Is there squash in squash? I, I don't know if you can get squash flavored squash. That would be terrible. Yeah. American cookies have a lot longer shelf life. Yeah. The ones Cruise Boys gave me, they're in date until April or something, which is really weird. <laughs> I don't know what's in them, but they tasted great. So that was good. Um, oh, Mandy says, so glad I watched this live. Thank you so much. I really enjoy doing these lives. It was not the plan to do these lives every week. We started doing them in I started doing them in March of 2020 when I came home from working at my day job and I wanted a way to turn off my work brain and turn on my cruise brain. And I thought if I'm live on the internet, I, I can't do any meetings with work. They can't call me <laughs> anything like that. So I started doing them at 5 p.m. That's when I finished work. And uh, we just kept doing them because things stretched on for a while. Cruising was shut down for I don't know how long. And I know a lot of you were here with me through that time. 
And I think we got closer together, right? We like bonded our community. And now we're ready to travel. We're opening it up. Everyone's excited. And it is really, really cool. So yes, thank you so much, everybody. It is, oh, I see a comment. If you need an illustrator, my co I do need an illustrator. Can you please email emma at emmacruises.com? Uh, because I don't have an illustrator yet. But yes, thank you so much, everybody, for coming to this live stream. One last time, the discount is disembarkation, 24 hours only. And uh, I will see you next week at the same time, same place. We're all back in the same time zone again now. Everyone's changed their clocks. <laughs> Who's going to? So, yes, thank you so much, everybody. I will see you all soon. Thank you, David. That's so good. Bye.